Hey everybody, Barry here again. The final piece of the puzzle has arrived and I can finally get the engine ready to fire up. So my buddy Frampton brought in the LS1 intake for me and uh, check him out on YouTube. His channel is called Polaris Triple Z. He's got a really cool turbo sled and a Trans Am supercharged that'll make you tingle in all the right places. So here we go. This is gonna work perfect. Let me grab the other intake and put it up against it, actually. Here we go. Look at the height difference. That is massive. This is going to work absolutely perfect on the engine. And I haven't actually test fitted it yet. So let's check it out. I think it's going to hit my alternator bracket and also this water pump. So let's try and see what happens. found what was hitting and it's right here so this coil plug-in you can see is stopping it from sitting where it needs to so let's just unplug this and it goes down almost flush just a bit flush I think yeah it's still hitting the coil over here so I think if I unscrew this coil I think then it'll sit flush it doesn't actually have separate gaskets like this that the truck have it has O-rings, so I'm going to set those O-rings in. Of course, I just bought these, <laughs> so I just got to buy more gaskets, I guess. And these injectors are a little bit different. I'm going to have to see if I can find injector plugins for this. In the meantime, let's see if we can get this to sit properly. this not a big deal I can just have the coil sit kind of off like this or drill a new hole down here I really don't care about that as long as it doesn't hit the fuel rail here on the inlet and here we can see our issue we're striking the alternator bracket over here and the water pump. Throttle blade hits it immediately. So not even a chance of bolting it on unless I used like a five inch throttle body spacer, which would be ridiculous. I'm gonna buzz through this as fast as I can. So relays are hooked up, power, ground, I just got to hook up the fuel pump and this is our ignition switch trigger here for everything. Well, I'll take the PCM out of the Cadillac and hook up to this for now. Uh, just got to bolt that down. You can take gaskets. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to work or not, but I'm, I just want to get it fired up. So whatever. And we're getting extremely close now. Let's just bolt the throttle body on. And I got my fuel pump. 90% figured out. So what I'm going to do is leave this pump outside the tank. This will be a hose just going into that gas can. And then I'll have a fitting coming out of here to the uh, Corvette fuel pressure regulator that's here. It's going to regulate your fuel pressure. And then directly to the rail, which is right here. Nothing serious. When you're into customizing stuff, making parts fit parts from other 
parts. Sometimes stuff doesn't work out. So right here is the LS1 injector. This is what came out of this intake, like that. It's tall, it's got a different style seal on the bottom. This is a flex fuel injector out of a newer truck. It's much bigger. I probably could cut the rail down to fit, but I don't want to be stuck with 29 pounds per hour injectors when I'm running turbo. What I have here is a regular truck injector. Completely different. Much shorter, different seal lip on the bottom. You can see that this one sits much farther down into the intake. And it looks like the seals are bigger on top, which probably wouldn't be much of an issue. But my main issue right now is I have this style connector, not this style, and I can't put this injector in because it's much shorter. And the surface down here is a lot different. I was really, really, really excited to get this thing fired up tonight, but another roadblock. It happens, not a big deal. So I just checked on SmartLink, uh, looked up the injector connector on CarQuest on our Explorer system, and SmartLink says that a 2002 to 05 F-150 has the same injector connector. I just happen to have a 2000 something. Oh, it's under like three feet of snow. Ah, gross. F-150, ah, with a 5.4 in it. Pray for me, boys and girls. I hate snow. Uh, I think they're different. Actually, I don't know if they are different. It looks pretty similar. I gotta go grab an injector and try it. Hope I didn't jinx myself by bringing wire cutters. Come on, be nice to me. Which way does this go? This way. One hand out is not as fun. <laughs> we got it! Sick! It was worth walking through all this garbage. Not everyday stuff works out. But here we go. Chop us up a wiring harness. Just about ready. I just gotta go put a tune into the PCM, haul it out of the Cadillac and plug it into this. Fire it up. Battery's hooked up. Everything is hooked up to the power side, ground. Fuel pump is down here with the return. So this is just gonna go in that can. Be perfectly fine, it's away from the fire, all that stuff. The only thing I don't have hooked up is the two front oxygen sensors, and I don't use those anyway, because speed density. Let's get this thing fired up. 
So I'm starting to get really, really nervous. And my nervous, I mean sick to my stomach. And this happens every time I go to start up a new engine. So sure, it's not a big deal. And everything's gonna be fine. Assuming I didn't wire all the injectors backwards. Because I don't know what the shaved Ford pattern is. It's just matched up colors and plugged it in. I loaded in the rat rod tune. That's a three bar speed density. That's why I don't have the mass airflow sensor or the oxygen sensor plugged in. Because rat rod, the last engine I had in it was the LS1 cam speed density three bar. So this should be basically exactly the same. Okay, let's set up the fuel. I think all your ear muffs. Because this is gonna be quite loud. No manifolds, just straight at the exhaust. I'm only gonna get it running for a second. Because obviously I have no coolant in it. And just uh, see what happens. Let's test the starter first. Starts good. And now we have a ignition switch. We don't have any fuel pump. So I switched over a little bit of wiring and fingers crossed we may have it. And nothing. I've been fighting with wiring for a little bit now and I don't know if I have it or not because I haven't tried it and it's kind of giving me a hard time, but let's see what we got. Well, I've been forced to go back to what the first thing I learned was. Take all the pinks, put them all to positive, orange is ignition, Pretty sure this is my fuel pump ground. And another test run. somewhere this is really really rough looking I just really want to hear this thing run
Injectors. These are 29 pounds per hour. Never really thought about that. Uh, glad it fired though. I'm gonna finish up here for tonight because it's like 10:30 in the night. I got work tomorrow. My girls got school tomorrow. Man, I'm glad that fired. Um, it will not rev, probably because there's three times the injector data in there that it needs to be. Yeah, that might do it. Stock LS1, 29 pound per hour injectors, rated at 80 pounds per hour in HP tutors. I think we'll uh, update that. So I'm gonna go reprogram the PCM, put it back in Cadillac. And tomorrow I'll remap the tune. I knew there was something I had to change. Just couldn't think about what it was at the time. Uh, and I don't have an OBD2 connector on this thing. I got to put it back in the Cadillac, tune it, plug it back in here. And that's another half hour's work. So I think I'm going to leave it for tonight. But man, that sounds cool. Sick. So I'm going to go home, get something to eat and go to sleep before I fall asleep standing up here because I've been on the go since six o'clock this morning. It's, it's a long day. So thanks for tuning in and hopefully sticking it out this far till you hear it fire. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great night.